Hey, how's it going? Today we have a pretty serious topic to talk about. Now I have seen some drama over the past few months surrounding the Yandere simulator and Yandere dev and some YouTubers have made videos talking about the various issues with the Yandere simulator and the developer but this particular issue tops every other thing that has been going on and I decided to make a video as well since I own a discord server too. Sometime in October, Yandari Dev banned a mod in his Discord server for literally having DID, which is short for Dissociative Identity Disorder, which is a mental disorder where a person assumes two or more identities, each with different personality traits and mannerisms. So Yandari Dev banned him without any explanation and he even went to the point of saying he didn't believe in his mental disorder and couldn't take it seriously calling it the weirdest dumbest and cringiest thing ever. Mental illnesses are pretty serious stuff and not just anything you can play around or joke around with or even make fun of people who are experiencing different conditions that you don't understand. All this was brought to light by a mod who left his discord server and decided to post a screenshot of some of his messages on a subreddit and this had a lot of people talking about it in the comments and that was when the chaos literally started. So let's do a quick background story for those who don't know who Yandere Dev is. Alex Mahan, popularly known on the global internet society as Yandere Dev, is an indie game developer who is known mostly for his popular controversial game Yandere Simulator, which basically lets you play as a teenage character that murders school children. What is this? It smells like gasoline. He also has a YouTube channel with almost 3 million subscribers where he posts gameplay videos and updates for the Yandere simulator. And due to the nature of the content on his channel and the genre of his video game, he basically states it as not for kids. So please be cautious when you stumble on his videos, I guess. And he also has a huge Discord server with over a hundred thousand members. And this just brings us to the incident that happened with Yandere Dev and why he banned a mod in his Discord server. A former mod on his Discord server made a post on the Osana subreddit, literally disclosing what Yandere Dev did to Chris who is another mod on the discord server who happens to have DID and due to his order Chris assumes multiple personalities and during one of the calls on the server Chris assumed a personality and joined the call. This new personality obviously acted different and had different personality traits and mannerisms and Yandari Dev, who was on the same call as well, started feeling awkward about the entire situation. Since it was his first time talking to this new personality Chris had assumed, so he just decided to kick him off the server for reasons, which is just a really rash and quick decision to take. I'm guessing the server had a channel where only mods could communicate with each other, so it would have been best if they brought up the issue between the mods and talked about it or better still even sent him a private message before just jumping to conclusions and just kicking him off the server. I just feel it was a rushed decision. And apparently after Yandari Dev kicked Chris off the server, Chris rejoined the server as his regular self and just started acting normally since he probably didn't know what was going on or what had happened prior to him coming as his regular persona and i guess yandari dev just felt well that didn't teach him any lesson i guess i'll have to do this 
the hard way and then he just banned him from the entire server and then he made a statement and posted it on a channel where all the other mods could see i can't take did seriously i don't think it's a real thing i think it's a made-up fantasy that some people indulge in as an excuse to occasionally role play as different people I can't take it anymore and I can no longer pretend it's not the weirdest, dumbest, cringiest thing ever. It makes me uncomfortable and creeps me out. I don't want to see that weird crap in here anymore. Well, yikes. For someone that created a high school game that forces you to murder other teenagers, did you just call a legit mental disorder weird, cringy, and dumb? That's a lot to take in right now, honestly. What angers me the most is where he goes off to say DID is not a real thing, which is just totally disrespectful to every other person who has DID and is suffering from it on a daily basis. And then he calls it a made up fantasy for people to role play as different people in their everyday lives. A simple Google search will give you all the information on what DID is and who it affects before you can just start jumping to conclusions. Dissociative Identity Disorder previously called multiple personality disorder, is usually a reaction to trauma as a way to help a person avoid bad memories. DID is characterized by the presence of two or more distinct personality identities, with each having a unique name, personal history, and characteristics. This is actually a real disorder that affects different people from a young age mostly around the world. Although some professionals argue how often it occurs, due to the difficulties in diagnosing the symptoms according to them. But people suffering from DID are prone to other mental health issues, especially PTSD. A story on Mosaic Science by Emma Young talked about a woman who was living with DID and she described living with it as hell, especially when you had multiple personalities living in the same body and each trying to be aware of their own existence. The movie Split portrays a character that appears to suffer from DID as well, although he assumes personalities that sometimes have superpowers which could often lead to violence which doesn't really happen in real life. So clearly Yandari Dev isn't aware of any of this according to him and he still regards DID as weird and just a fantasy. Now my main problem with this is the fact that Yandari Dev is playing with a condition of a person that actually has a mental disorder and just making fun of their condition right in front of them. These sort of situations are the kind that usually heighten people who have disorders and just make them to begin feeling depressed and sometimes push them to becoming suicidal. If you don't understand a disorder or if you don't even believe it exists, I think it's best if you keep it to yourself instead of just saying you don't believe in it in front of people who might be presumably suffering from it. You're literally just mocking them in their face and it will make anyone feel bad. The second thing is he just jumped to the conclusion that Chris was role playing without even finding out from him privately if anything was wrong with him and he didn't even bother talking about it with other mods to see if anyone had experienced any weird behavior changes or personality changes with Chris in the server. From what we know, he literally just banned him without giving him a chance to defend himself and explain what he was going through. And naturally, some other mods on the server didn't think what Yandari Dev did was right and started leaking screenshots on Reddit, which led Yandari Dev to make another statement where he said he did believe it was real but he was under the assumption that people fake mental illnesses in order to just use that as an excuse for bad behavior. So this is basically what he thought Chris was doing. Gradually, after observing his behavior for a long time, I slowly grew skeptical towards him. 
The more I interacted with him, I began to doubt that he actually had real DID. Eventually, I drew the conclusion that he was faking the disorder and was using it as an excuse to roleplay as one of several characters anytime he wanted. So I made the decision to remove him from the moderation team. So clearly, prior to him banning Chris, they already had conversations on multiple occasions. And I believe he was just taking note of Chris's behavior and really not saying anything and just trying to figure out if he actually had DID or he was just faking it. Which I can say for sure, you really can't find out if a person has a mental illness or disorder just by observing them on the internet and talking to them via text messages. Especially with DID since some people tend to withdraw and keep to themselves except when they switch to a different personality. So it's safe to say that didn't work out so well. And then he went on to explain his motive for making the previous statement even when he knew he wasn't in a good mood to make any decisions at that time but he still went ahead and made a bad decision for reasons which is just a totally wrong thing to do i know it's pretty hard controlling yourself when you're angry but it's better to not say anything at all than to make a bad decision that you will end up regretting later and then he also apologized for generalizing everyone else who had did and judging them based off his experience with just one person which he shouldn't have done in the first place all in all yandari dev was just doing his best to control the damage that his initial post had caused and it wasn't looking too good for him because the internet just kept lashing at him especially since he still didn't believe in the existence of did and he kept going back and forth with his explanations in his apology statements this just led other youtubers making videos on this situation and this literally just pushed him to the edge so he made another apology statement and this time he apologizes to chris saying he thinks he should have handled things differently this is literally the worst way to start an apology when you're apologizing you're literally accepting a mistake you made and you're holding yourself accountable for it instead yandari dev still insists he was right by using the word think in his apology statement and then he goes on to discredit the validity of did saying it sounded like what a child would do seeking for attention the entire statement just sounded forced he sounded like he was pushed to a corner and literally held at gunpoint to apologize to chris he also said he actually accommodated chris on the server when he switched his persona and talked to different people on the server and then when he just got fed up of everything he decided to ban him without having any conversation about it at all especially since he didn't like what chris was doing and he wasn't even sure if chris had did or not a simple conversation privately would have solved out everything and he would have been able to find out what was actually going on with chris instead of just kicking him and banning him out for reasons well since the drama got leaked on the internet other mods and the mods who made the post on the subreddit all left the yandari simulator discord server and the situation just leaves a bad taste in everyone's mouth towards yandari dev i feel a better way he could have handled the situation was to have been a little bit more patient and try to talk to chris and find out what was going on with him and then he could have also talked to other mods on his server and tried to find out if they had experienced any change in chris's behaviors or his personality or mannerisms and then if there were any signs he could just try to help him and just give him some time to himself i mean these mods have literally been supporting you and have helped your career one way or another so you still owe them a lot of respect and you still need to treat them like people as well and i also don't just believe in making fun of mental illnesses 
because you don't believe in them. If you're lucky to be healthy, well, that's great, but you shouldn't destroy other people's well-being by talking down on them and disregarding their conditions. Just because you don't believe in something doesn't mean it doesn't exist or it's not real. Anyway, I just hope wherever Chris is right now, he is taking care of himself and I wish him all the best. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. So there'll be a link down below for you to subscribe and for you to join the Discord server as well. And with all that being said, you can go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.